Hey guys, it's Rob with Passports to the Parks, and today I am here at Coronado Springs. It is Friday, March 2nd, and I'm here to do a construction update. As you can tell behind me, they do have some construction going on here. And this will be going on for at least uh, more than a, a year, just a little over a year. Um, everything is due to be completed here by the summer of uh, 2019. So let me get you turned around. We'll show you kind of what's going on and tell you a few things that are happening. And you can get a view here. Uh, if you're planning on staying here anytime in the future, then this would be a good video for you to watch. Or if you're just interested in what's coming here in the future, um, just take a look also. It's going to be pretty awesome. So let me get you turned around. We'll take a look. Okay, we'll start out here in the lake area. Have uh, a couple cranes out on the water here, and they're constructing platforms. And what that's going to be is a floating restaurant uh, kind of bar and grill area. So right out in this general area here, you're going to have a platform built that's going to have a restaurant and bar. Um, and then there's going to be walkways that will extend, I believe, in three different areas, like coming out from here, then probably across from here, and over in this area as well. And they're all going to branch into that restaurant, and it's going to give you easy access to get from the other side uh, to the main area over here, the main lobby area and the restaurant area. So that's going to be a really nice updated feature. Uh, there's also going to be some boardwalk area going in around the lake, which would be really nice. Uh, they're currently undergoing room renovations, which should all be done by the summer of 2019 as well. Uh, Coronado Springs was kind enough to let me in earlier to check out one of the renovated rooms. So make sure you guys check that out on PassportToTheParks.com and I'll get it up on YouTube as well. But the rooms here are amazing. As soon as I walked in, I was floored by how, how gorgeous they are. I loved it. So make sure you check that out. If you can hear, I don't know how well you can hear on this, but it's not too bad. I mean, you hear some clanging of um, some tools and things like that, and you hear a generator running in the background here that's obviously helping something with the crane out here at the platform. But it's nothing that's too terrible. I mean, it's not going to ruin your stay here or anything. Obviously, you're going to have to deal with some of the aesthetics of it and just seeing the construction going on. But I don't think if you're in your room that it's going to really be too much of a difference. On some areas it might, um, but overall as you're walking around it's really not noticeable. You kind of just tone it out after a while. Um, there are some blocked off areas over on this side, so it's, it's hard to, um, if you're on the other side of the lake here, to come around in this direction to get to the main areas. Uh, so for now you do have to kind of make a walk the long walk all the way around the lake. So that is a minor inconvenience, but <clears throat> it doesn't seem to bother too many people. This resort has always been known for having a long walk, especially if you're staying in the, uh, the rear areas back there. But these walkways that they're putting in, that is going to make a huge difference. So basically you'll just be able to cut directly across the lake now with the new walkways. So let me show you around here. Hi, Victoria. We're at uh, Coronado Springs today, checking out all the construction and kind of giving an update of what's happening and what's coming. So I'm gonna circle you around here and you're gonna see the main area that they're working on here and that is the new high rise that's going in. Now this is going to be pretty amazing. This is all going to be pretty much uh, luxury, uh, luxury rooms. There's actually going to be a lookout area on the very top, and there's going to be a new restaurant and lounge area as well. All very high class stuff. Rooms are going to be much larger, much nicer. You can see on the bottom here. Uh, that's going to be a, a huge, grand two-story lobby that you walk into. Very elegant. They have a lot of conventions here, and they have a lot of uh, 
CEOs and kind of some high rollers that come in for the conventions and they're wanting to have a little more luxurious accommodations so they don't have to stay at other resorts on property. Coronado Springs would like to accommodate them here, which is a great idea. So it's going to be beautiful when it's done, especially uh, you're going to have views of the parks. Once you're up on the top, you're going to be able to see, you know, a pretty good distance. You probably see the parks. And... Phone call. Let me decline that. That's the joy about going live. You never know what's going to happen when you get messages or phone calls. Uh, a little bit more of some boardwalk area here. Now there's going to be more boardwalk that's going to be built. Um, it's going to be lit well at night. Some more of the crane working over there. Again, if you're just joining us, we're doing a construction update for Coronado Springs. What they're doing out here in the lake is prepping for platforms for a new bar and grill that will be kind of floating out in the water. They're also going to be making walkways that will extend from the different areas of the resort into the center and you'll be able to access going back and forth so you don't have to make the long walk around the resort anymore. And behind me we were just looking at the construction of the new luxury tower that's going in. It's going to have a restaurant and lounge and lookout area up at the top. We need to catch some fireworks shows up there. I'm sure it'll be very popular. And I'm standing right in front of the building here and it's not overwhelming at all. The noise is not bothersome. You just hear some beeps and some clanking and stuff like that, but I don't think it would interfere with my stay at all. It wouldn't, uh, wouldn't stop me from staying here. Uh, when I did talk to uh, when I did talk to management here, they said that they are at 100% capacity right now, so it's not affecting the hotel at all. Very nice here. It's very relaxing. It's the uh, pool area in the distance there. So if you guys ever have any questions, uh, if you'd like to see anything else, if you want to see anything else up close, you can always contact me, leave me a comment, let me know so I can get to that, show you guys and share it with you. Make sure you share these videos with your friends if you can. The more people we can get involved the better conversations we can have and get the information out and just have some fun. All right, well, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. You can always check us out at PassportToTheParks.com. Check us out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Well, obviously you're on Facebook now watching me live, so uh, I'll also post these videos up on YouTube. Passport to the parks. You can check us out there. I really appreciate you guys watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.